the NDOC docking system consists of an active and a passive valve, which are both equipped with a precision bearing shaft. The passive valve is usually assembled to the inlet and outlet of the mobile container. The corresponding active valve is fixed to the respective process unit. This allows the container to dock to the equipment and be charged or discharged in a fully contained manner. The GMP design locking pins are used to align the active and passive valves before locking the two halves of the valve together. The image on the right shows a sectional view of the cylinder at the active valve during the docking process. In the docked position, before the valves are locked together, the valve faces can be swept with a vacuum to remove any loose contamination. Ambient air is drawn from the room between the active and passive valves through the suction nozzle. Then the locking pins lock the active and passive valves together so that both process units are tightly connected to each other. Thus the products are always charged or discharged under contained conditions. If required, it is also possible to achieve accurate weighing in the docked position with a thin wall bellows. After the charging or discharging process, the valve is closed, then unlocked. For high containment, a vacuum sweep between the faces should be executed to remove any adventitious residual powders which may be present. After the vacuum sweep, the lift cylinders move the active valve back to its initial position. Thus, the decanting process is executed under closed conditions. The flexible Allegio legs allow the docking of mobile containers via a post hoist without misalignment issues. It is possible to dock the containers in two positions, front and back, due to the symmetrical design of the passive valve. This is unique to the Andox system split containment system. The locking pins are used to align the active and the passive valves and act as a mechanical stop. Optional, a vacuum sweep between the valve faces can be executed before the locking pins seal the active and passive valves together. After the locking procedure, the discharge process can be started. When the container is empty, the valve closes both halves of the system and the docking system can be unlocked again. The container with the passive valve is then removed by means of a post hoist. The valve does not always need to be automatic. A manual valve can be handled easily and safely and does not need a control unit. When the main valve flap is open, both halves of the valve are mechanically interlocked by a unique interlocking bearing design to provide a secondary security which offers increased safety during manual operation. Our unique contained split docking system offers many operational and containment advantages for the GMP production environment. For more information, please contact us.